want to ask you all about Jimmy Carter. He announced this week that he does have cancer. There is a history of pancreatic cancer in his family. However, they have not been clear about what kind of cancer he has. It was discovered when he had an operation uh, on his liver. It, it was discovered when he had an operation on his liver, and he has said it spread through his body, and sort of the word from Atlanta is that um, it's not, you know, there's a great deal of concern about, about Jimmy Carter. And uh, I, I would say a couple of things about Jimmy Carter. Aside from him being such a, an incredible, vigorous 90-year-old, someone who's who was just in Who was here just here in your stu ago. studio promoting his memoir. He's traveled the world eradicating, you know, guinea worm and addressing, you know, monitoring elections. But he has also been such an incredibly accessible ex-president. Any person can go down to Plains, Georgia, as I did last year, and on a, any given Sunday when he is in town, which is many Sundays, go to the Maranatha Baptist Church and hear Jimmy Carter give a Sunday school lesson. You can go through a receiving line afterwards and have a photograph taken with him and Mrs. Carter. You can see them go down to the little cafeteria in town and stand in line just like everybody else for their, you know, cornbread and vegetables. And um, it's truly an extraordinary Thing, the way he has made himself so accessible. So I think regardless of his politics, which frankly remain controversial this far after his presidency, many people feel very sad as, to hear this news. As do I. He was on my program for the 11th time. We had an absolutely wonderful conversation. I hope that the country does not become premature in offering eulogies. I myself am going to offer my prayers and my best wishes that whatever it is that's going on, perhaps they can find some treatment for him.